So hi everyone, my name is Shivam Bohra. I am a third year computer science engineering student from Dehradun. I love solving problems and I also love to teach. Welcome to our channel, Learn Competitive Programming with Codeshare. So if you are interested in competitive programming and want to learn and master data structures and algorithms, then this is a one-stop destination for you. Here we post weekly problem explanations conceptual videos on various programming paradigms and also conduct live problem solving sessions. So before we actually get started, here's a reminder for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already yet. So in this video, we are going to solve said sequences. The problem appeared in December lunchtime challenge. The difficulty level is cakewalk and the prerequisites are none. So this video is divided into three parts that is an explanation of the problem statement then we'll see an approach to solve the above problem and then we'll see a C++ code to demonstrate the above approach. So the problem statement says that we have a sequence of positive integers of size n. So let's say n equals to 3 and we have 1, 2 and 3 as the sequence. So here we have to make sure that the sum of this sequence is divisible by a positive integer k. So let's say k equals to 4 and in this case sum is not divisible by k. So we have to make sure or in order to make sure that the sum is divisible by k, we can perform the following operation. That is we can choose any element of the current sequence and we can replace it by any positive integer. So in this question, our aim is to find the minimum number of operation that is required to achieve a state in which the sum becomes divisible by k. So let's say in this case, we replaced 1 by 3. So now the sequence is 3, 2 and 3 and the sum over here is 8. So now the sum is divisible by k. So we have achieved the state. So the minimum number of operation that was required to achieve the state in this case was 1. Now let us see a few examples. So here we have n equals to 3. This is the sequence and k is also 3. So in this case, the sum of the sequence is 3. So the sum is already divisible by k. So we need not to perform any operation on this sequence. So the answer in this case is going to be 0. And in this case, n equals to 3, k equals to 4, and this is the sequence. So the sum of the sequence is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 5, which is 7. So here in this case, the sum is not divisible by 4. So we have to perform any operation or some number of operations on this sequence. So let's say I replaced 1 by 2. So in this case, now the sum is changed from 7 to 8 and 8 is divisible by 4. So in this case, the answer is 1. That is, we replaced just one integer in this sequence to get the sum as a divisible of k. So our approach here is pretty simple. It says that if the sum is divisible by k, then the answer is 0. That is, if the sum is already divisible by k, then in that case, we need not to perform any operation on the whole sequence and hence the answer is always going to be 0. But if the sum is not divisible by k, then in that case, we have to replace any one number out of the whole sequence by any such other number which makes the sum of the sequence divisible by k. Hence, in that case, the answer is always going to be 1. So, this part is very easy to understand and we need not to see any proof for this one. So, let us try and prove the second condition. You can skip this part if you want to. The timestamps are given in the description. So let's say we have a sequence and the sum of the sequence on dividing by k gives us a remainder r. So in this case, 
uh, I have to make sure that the new sum that is I have to make sure that the sum is replaced or the sum has become sum minus r because we know that sum is not divisible by k but sum minus remainder will be divisible by k or we can also make the sum as sum minus r plus k because we know that sum minus r is divisible by k and k also is divisible by k so on adding them both i'll get a number which is also divisible by k now to make the sum as sum minus r i have to pick an element out of these numbers so let's say i pick the ai number where ai is the ith number in this sequence so let's say i pick the ai number and I have to replace ai by ai minus r. So this will ensure that the sum now is sum minus r. But the only problem with this thing is that if ai is less than r, then in that case, this number will be negative. And it is not possible to replace a number over here by a negative number so we cannot aim for this one but we can definitely aim for this condition so to make the sum as sum minus r plus k i have to uh, replace ai by ai minus r plus k so now we know that that k is greater than r so k minus or minus r plus k is going to be positive and ai itself is a positive integer so this thing will end up being a positive integer so yeah it is possible to replace a number over here in this sequence by a positive integer which will end up giving us a sum which is divisible by k so yeah it is always possible to just replace a number over here to get the sum divisible by k so yeah, this is the proof of how if the sum is not divisible by k, then the answer is always going to be 1. So moving on to the code, firstly, I'll input t, which is the number of test cases. After that, I'll iterate throughout the test cases. And after that, I'll input n and k. Here n is the number of elements in the sequence and k is the number which should divide the sum. After that, I'll input n numbers and then I'll find the sum of all the numbers in the sequence of n numbers. After that, I'll check if the sum of the sequence is divisible by k or not. So if it is divisible, then I'll simply see out 0. And if it is not divisible, then I'll simply see out or print 1. So yeah, that is all about the whole code. So let us submit the code. So copy and paste. So this is the same code that we have discussed in the previous one. So let's just submit it. So it's running.
So we got the correct answer. But wait, did you guys know that CodeShip also conducts free live classes on Unacademy where we teach every possible topic related to competitive programming. We have beginner level courses like Introduction to Programming in C++ or Java, Recursion, Basic Data Structures as well as advanced courses like Dynamic Programming, Graph Theory and Segment Trees. These courses are conducted by top coding experts who have been ICPC World Finalist, IOI Medalist or who have worked in top product based companies like Amazon, Google, Facebook and LinkedIn. So all you need to do is download the Unacademy app or register yourself at unacademy.com and choose your goal as competitive programming. You can also take the paid plus subscription to get additional features and individual level support in plus we have a large set of practice problems associated with each topic covered. Also, we have six star and seven star rated teaching assistants to clear all your doubts during and after the live sessions. You can use my referral code, which is whitemagic333 to subscribe for the plus classes and get an instant 10% off. So hurry up guys, don't miss out on this lovely opportunity and kickstart your journey for competitive programming.